I've been wanting to build this project for so long. Hey, good boy. Can you please? Last year, I made a face-controlled keyboard so I could keep writing code while holding a sleeping baby. Now my son's running around, which means I need to get back in shape too. So I made the full body keyboard. It uses computer vision to track body positions and translate them into every letter, number, and symbol that you can type. Of course, there are lots of more practical body-based keyboards, like sign language, or maybe poking a set of keys with your fingers. But why stop at just fingers when you could look like a jazzercise icon while typing up your work email? There you go. I thought I was just making a fun way to type while getting some cardio in, but it turns out it's also an expressive modern dance form and a full body game controller you can use to make any game more awesome. So why do I look like I'm straight out of an 80s workout video? Well, the first thing I needed was a way to make the entire alphabet with my body. I tried a few options that all ended up being either way too difficult for the computer vision to identify or way too difficult for me to do. I finally discovered Flag Semaphore. It's an obscure system that represents letters and numbers by sticking your arms out at different angles. It was developed by this big brain dude in France in 1792 as the first telecommunication system, where people sitting in towers would use telescopes to read and relay signals over long distances using big paddles. It's rarely used today, but the arm-based version gained popularity in 19th century naval communication. To get my code working, this was the first time in probably over a decade that I had to use any trigonometry, but eventually I got a basic prototype that could recognize the semaphore alphabet, and immediately proceeded to raise my arms, breaking the code since that's not a valid signal. I managed to learn the semaphore alphabet without too much trouble, but that's because it's a single sequence with a lot of obvious patterns to it. Quickly remembering individual letters is a lot harder. I tried to pick up some tips from this US Coast Guard training video from 1943, but it mostly included helpful advice like, do the job right. Practice both sending and receiving at every opportunity. And unlike when I learned Morse code for the face keyboard, it's a lot tougher to come up with mnemonics for things like stick your left arm out perpendicular and your right arm a little higher to make a Y. But one thing I already have memorized is the lyrics to hundreds of songs that I wish I'd never heard. So I came up with little song snippets to learn sets of letters like Y, M, C. It's fun to stay at the Feel free to borrow that corrected version for your next bar mitzvah party. So I made up maybe a dozen of these dance mnemonics that will now never leave my head. Don't stop believing. Signaling all the starting letters of InSync's in semaphore ends up actually pretty close to the original choreography, especially because I added in the ability to quickly repeat the last letter by jumping. With my new tactics, I started internalizing semaphore a lot more easily, but I was still very slow making the motions. With a good keyboard, I'm a pretty fast typer at over 100 words per minute. My face got a max of around 20 words per minute, while hunt and peck typists get 25 to 30 words per minute. I wasn't sure it would be possible, but I wanted to try to get my arms at least as fast as those two-fingered typists. My strategy was to find songs with increasingly fast lyrics. Signaling the first letter of every word and timing out the music, I could get a rough equivalent words per minute. My final boss, Johnny Cash's I've Been Everywhere, clocks in at my goal of over 30 words per minute, but my first few attempts were less than promising. I've been to Boston, Charleston, Dayton, Louisiana, Washington, Houston, Kingston, Texas, County, Monterey, Faraday, Santa Fe, Tallapus. Smile for heaven's sake! Yeah! Glen Rock, Black Rock, Little Rock, Oscar. After a lot more practice, I finally got up to a whopping nine words per minute, which already felt incredibly fast. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide, no escape from reality. I should probably explain the squatting jazz hands. When my thighs are detected as close to horizontal, the signal I'm making is a number instead of a letter. All of these position thresholds are adjustable in the code depending on how forgiving you want to be. Opening my hands means shift, which lets me do all the capital letters and all the symbols on a keyboard above the numbers when I'm squatting. So we can do A, capital A, one, or exclamation point. 
I also added some of my own custom semaphore angles for the rest of the symbols. So for instance, you could have forward slash or shift slash for a question mark. Accurate hand detection is a lot slower and more complex than limbs for computer vision, so I just stuck to having both hands open or closed. Doing jazz hands seems to more quickly help it realize when my fingers are out. A few letters were really tough to get. Specifically, W and O just weren't getting recognized by my code. I did as much fine-tuning as I could, but it's really the body motion itself that's hard to get correct, which led to what I called my OW workout. O. W. O. W. O. W. Wax on, wax off. Concentrate. To be able to write code with this system, I needed to cover the full keyboard, so I added modifiers and special keys like command, control, backspace, and of course the arrow keys left, right, down, and up. One unexpected benefit was this let me play all sorts of games while getting a workout. This is pretty rough right now and would take a lot more work, but I want to make this into a customizable game controller that would do things like actually letting you punch and kick to punch and kick. So consider subscribing if you want to see how that next experiment turns out. It took hours of practice, but I finally started making some progress on my speed. I don't know if that looks difficult or just ridiculous, but it felt incredibly fast. I really wasn't sure if I'd be able to get much quicker. Before beginning Buns of Steel 2000, there's a few safety guidelines we'd like you to keep in mind. My glutes were burning from having had to file my taxes earlier, and I had to get an elbow brace for my right arm from flinging it about so much. Boston, Charleston, Dayton. While healing up, I ran perhaps the first ever statistical analysis of semaphore, which confirmed what I suspected. The right arm gets a much bigger workout. To avoid more procrastinating by code, I started using the code to write the code itself, which might have been its own procrastination technique, but at least I was getting in slow but steady practice. I must have listened to Johnny Cash at half speed hundreds of times by now, and my right shoulder was burning from all the B, T, and C places he's been to. But I finally started feeling like it might just barely be possible. After a lot of caffeine and an ice pack, I gave it one last try. I've been everywhere. I've been to Boston, Charleston, Dayton, Louisiana, Washington, Houston, Kingston, Texas, County, Monterey, Faraday, Santa Fe, Tallapoosa, Glen Rock, Black Rock, Little Rock, Oskaloosa, Tennessee, Tennessee, Chicopee, Spirit Lake, Grand Lake, Devil's Lake, Crater Lake, the Beach Lake. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. I'd finally done it. My arms are as fast as a two-fingered typist, at least until I run out of breath which left just one more thing to test out. Could I achieve every hacker's dream of typing insanely fast by just adding more people to the keyboard? I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me when you hold me in your arms so tight. You let me know everything's all right. You did a great job. You worked your heart, your lungs, your buns, 